All right, Shalom. Before I start, we give all praises to Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shai Bahashem, Rakakurash, the wanderers, the elders, and apostles, great millstone, peace, blessings, and salutations, all like Akim, Wa Akwath, learning, teaching, and truth, and sincerity into the video through the Spirit, the brother Malak from GMS Detroit. All right, I was watching this video uh, before camp yesterday from Elder Apostle Tahar, and he's going to be playing this clip from this former Sakari member, this interview he did with Vocab. All right, and this is just me nitpicking all right i got another video coming later lord willing and you know this this whole wendy williams boohoo you know when these dudes who fall out or leave or get excommunicated they go run to the white man to expose <laughs> so-called right to go tattletale and hey man how about shim yow shy is going to destroy these dudes not even not just fallouts from great millstone but from uh any so-called camp and now certain of the because you know you have certain uh we're not that you have guys in other camps who are going to receive salvation all right they're gonna get up from under their leader and get all the doctrine together and stop being uh you know stop being beguiled by some of the bullshit they still clinging to uh nevertheless the scriptures still say you're supposed to go out and do this work there's not a scripture that say nowhere that, oh, you were a part of this group and they're really bad, so now you don't have to teach no more and so you can go back and be in the world. No, if you take your hand off of this plow, regardless of what camp you in, you're going to be destroyed by Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. It's now your responsibility. You're supposed to be even more um, devout since you're on your own now, right? This whole Wendy Williams running to the enemy, <laughs> compromise, giving up secrets. Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai is going to destroy these dudes. All right. This is why uh, I just got some scriptures real quick. And I'm going to let it play so y'all can hear the guy gossiping like a bitch to the enemy, to the white man. Negro uh, Israelite rebellions don't ever last or work. That's why we're not going to be able to take this man down physically. Because you give it enough time, some nigga's going to get disgruntled and he's going to go leave and run to the white man every time. Mr. White Man, they said I couldn't eat pork. Can you line up? You know, bitch ass niggas, man. I have never seen <laughs> in the history of history, it without, it without fail, it doesn't cease or it doesn't fail for a nigga to get up and go run and cry to the white man and just drop all the jewels. It's like, where, where are they? Bur who are, who's burfing these niggas, man? No, I'm gonna run the vocab. <laughs> Let me go run the vocab. I got put out or I quit. Bitch ass niggas, man. God damn. Luke 9. <laughs> Luke 9 and 62, and Yahweh Shai said unto him, No man having put his hand to the plow and looking back is fit for the kingdom of Yahweh. All right? So the ones on this side, you leave this truth. You let go of the fact that you're an Israelite and going out and doing the work. You, you have blood on your hands. You have left off. So you're going to have to pay. You're going to have to suffer. You will die. So run into this man or to anybody and running and gossiping. Oh, well, this happened to me, so I don't teach no more. This happened to me, so I don't go out no more. We've all been spurned. We've all been done wrong. But that's no excuse to stop pushing the word of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai to go back to worshiping some Jesus and eating fucking, uh, 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 eating ham on Thanksgiving. God damn it. Vocab, you had a problem with me. Why Sakari? Yeah, man. Scholarship, bro. I felt like that uh, Sakari out of all the... I hope you don't got no feedback because well, we'll see what's going to happen. So bear with it. Let's hope there's no feedback to this. The camps, they were the only ones putting themselves out there on the line for people to test the doctrine. There were only people doing that. And I like their scholarship. I like the way they broke things down, went into the Hebrew. And he, you know, this guy, he's clear, he clearly already, you know, who, who did, who did Sakari learn from, nigga? You know, don't know nothing. Sakari was the only one 
Stephen Darby. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Stephen Darby, uh, yeah, way, I know, right? Way, yeah. Uh, <laughs> you go from uh, Darby to Haka, man. So you see this guy, so I'm gonna get a scripture. He's laughing and he he and ha ha and what the enemy who hates you and doesn't believe in what you believe in and wants you to be a bugged out Jesus so-called worshiper. And this is a common trend of our people. Our people love running to the enemy who hates their guts and wants nothing more than for us to remain in captivity and for us not to realize our destiny as the chosen people of Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh Shai. This is a common thing that niggas do. All right, no matter what we go through, there is no excuse for falling out and going back to the world and running and gossiping to the enemy. That's going to require expiation, which is bloodshed. To relieve you of your sins, you're going to have to give up your life. All right. Isaiah 65 and 11. But ye are they that forsake Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh Shai, that forget my holy mountain, that prepare a table for that troop, and that furnish the drink offering unto that number. So that's what he's essentially doing here. He is forgotten Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. He's prepared a table for the troop, meaning what? You let the enemies in. All right, this was one of the mistakes of a uh, king, uh, of one of the kings. He let the Babylonians in, uh, oh, Hezekiah. It was Hezekiah. He let the Babylonians in and take a look at the treasury in the temple. And the Heavenly Father said, you know what? Since you let them come in here and take a look at all this, they're going to they're, they're gonna make it all the way in here and come physically take it. All right. Our people have a bad habit of Esau is never our friend, right? Even if you bug out and go back into the world, shit ain't Krispy Kreme. They still enslaved you. They still, uh, black codes, Jim Crow, uh, segregation, right? You're still getting disadvantaged because of your zip code. That's why your insurance rates is up. You're still getting higher APR on purchases on loans, you dumb nigga. You're still getting less affordable house loans, you dumb nigga. They ain't never your fucking friend. They still your enemy, even if you do go back into the world, which is why there's no incentive to go back into the world. This is our captivity. All right. So those who know this and they choose to take their hands off the plow, they, they're going to suffer a bigger punishment. So that Jake, he going to suffer. All right. And then ultimately, hey, you know, you know, he's with Sakari in any damn ways, you know, so that I could, you know, they bugged out any damn way. Uh, but regardless, you're not supposed to. Uh, I'm just using him as an example. You, there's no excuse you can give to the Heavenly Father for why you bugged out and went to the world. Oh, this brother did that to me. And other brothers have had worse things happen to them and they continued on. They didn't use it as an excuse to apostatize and then go gossip to the enemy like these fucking niggas keep doing. And the shit, every time I see it, it blows my mind. This is a, hey, and we don't, you know, knowing the history, like we don't support the organizations like the Black Panthers. We understand that, you know, uh, we weren't going to um, prosper, right? But they failed because of a traitor, the nigga who set up, uh, damn, I forget the, y'all saw the movie Judas and the Black Messiah, right? Judas is carried himself. Y'all shy died because of Judas. Uh, it was prophecy. It was for prophecy's sake, but literally he was betrayed. You see this trend amongst our people. Somebody go run off and be a little snitch and tattletale him, and now we all through. All right, Isaiah 12. I'm going to start at uh, verse uh, 43. Blessed is that servant whom his Lord, when he cometh, shall find so doing. Or of a uh, slakim, of a truth I say unto you, that he will make him ruler over all that he hath. But, and if that servant say in his heart, my Lord delayeth his coming, and shall begin to beat the men servants and maid servants, and to eat and drink, and to be drunken. So, you're supposed to be found working in Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai upon his return not back in the world with your hair long like a bitch back smoking weed you know living like a gentile back eating the abominations that the heathens eat back worshiping you know false holidays all right regardless of you know hey that's why you're supposed to come up under the proper teachers well then this happened to me over there well you shouldn't have been over there nigga you shouldn't have been listening to them young young niggers <laughs> All right, and then now this parable, this is uh, literally dealing with a, you know, if a servant was left in charge of the house, he's being a, a nigga demon. He up in there partying, bullshitting, effing over people. Meanwhile, he don't know the master's coming down the road. He thinking the master's still three months out. No, nigga, he's closing in on you. Verse 46, 
the Lord of that servant will come in a day uh, when he looketh not for him and in an hour when he is not aware and will cut him in sunder and will appoint him his portion with the unbelievers. Yeah, so this Jake is going to die the death of an unbeliever. You're going to be destroyed because you turned your hand from the plow. You knew what you were supposed to be doing. You knew this truth at one point. But for whatever reason, you got grieved and bugged out and used it as an avenue to escape. And there is no escape. All right. Verse uh, 47. And that servant which knew his Lord's will and prepared not himself, neither did according to his will, shall be beaten with many stripes. All right. So Jake that knew this truth at one point and went back into the world. You're going to suffer more than a nigga who was just in the world. Verse 48. But he that knoweth not and did commit things worthy of stripes shall be beaten with few stripes. But for unto whomsoever much is given of him shall be much required. And to whom men have committed much of him, they will ask the more. So straight up. Hey, you got certain Jake in the world, they, they just going to kill over. You know, they just going to see judgment coming and pass out and die. Heart attack. Not all of them, but, you know, you, you feel what I'm saying? But you niggas who, in particular, bug out, fall out, leave, I wouldn't be surprised if every last single one of you take the MOTB and get destroyed in those flames in particular, compared to a Pookie and Ray Ray who just gets knifed out on the boulevard, right? So let's go back to the video, and he's going to continue to gossip here with vocab, like vocab is his fucking homie, like this nigga won't call FBI on you and have you arrested for the rest of your natural born life. They already believe that we're terrorists, you fucking idiot. Come on, man. Yeah, I know, right? I know. And Darby will get you to me. I like Darby, though. He gets you together on some spiritual things. You know, bring out, you bring out some interesting stuff. I like it. Uh, the people who are watching this, who are Hebrew Israelites, they're going to want to know. Do you still think that you are an Israelite? Yeah, I subscribe to I wouldn't uh, put myself in the trap or nothing like that. So you still subscribe to the fact you're an Israelite, but you run into the uh, known enemy of the Israelites. A fucking shit for brains, man. But like far as some of the things that I've seen, uh, I do subscribe to being an Israelite. Do I believe an Israelite matters regarding salvation? No, no. In no stretch form of the imagination do I feel like that matters regarding salvation. So you still hold that you're a Hebrew Israelite, but you don't know which tribe. So that means you don't hold to the 12 tribes chart. Oh, no. That's, 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 that's garbage. The 12 tribes chart is complete trash and garbage. Well, why do you say that? Well, your opinion is garbage you fucking stupid nigga if i mm. well when i was in the camp when i was in the safari camp we had to do a 12 trap star breakdown right why do we have to do a 12 trap breakdown because if you are a soldier in the camp you can't not be you have to be fit to teach that chart so you have to know the breakdowns so when we were going through the breakdowns like when basically we, we had to do homework because it was a test so as me doing the homework, I had to figure out who was what tribe and what. So I did all my own research, and uh, I can only find four tribes. The, I, uh, and that was only because Sakari only had four tribes that they actually broke down. So they you don't, don't really think Sakari really has a thorough breakdown of the 12 tribes chart? Hell no. Nah. I'm going to tell you right now. Excuse my language. <laughs> Hell no. Nah. And that's the problem. Hey, we have the breakdown over here. Hey, me and some of the brothers, we recently was going over Genesis 49 and Deuteronomy 33 and didn't have no problems. We got we got from, from Judah to Zebulon. It ain't no issues over here, but that's what happens when you get up under improper teachers. So he used that excuse of missing a piece of understanding to just bug out. And ultimately, he's not of the elect any damn way. All right. And that's why ultimately it's that's why it's important to get up under the proper teachers so that you can be built up properly in the faith. That's where he went off. Regardless of that. He should not have used that, oh, well, I don't understand this, so I'm just going to throw the baby out with the bath water. I'm gone. No, nigga, you're supposed to do more diligent search. You're supposed to go up to the true men who have the understanding. But, you know, fuck the nigga. He not about nothing. Some shabar. Fuck this nigga, man. Run into vocab. To gossip like a bitch. The former head here in Detroit did that same thing. All this shit he talked, and you're going to go run to the enemy. I can't stand, I can't stand these type of niggas, man. These are the type of niggas that let the enemy in while everybody sleep. All right? These are the traitors. These are the niggas that that this is why, man, come on, man. This these are the Jason type niggas. You 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 understand when you read the scriptures, the men who sell out their nation. Let me let me go to that real quick actually. 
These are the type of people who have sold themselves to the enemy for their own footing, for their own benefit, all to no avail. And when you look at what happened to Jason, it was to no avail. He ended up dying miserably any damn way. All right, second Maccabees. I want to see uh, where is this son of a bitch at? Um, let's do this. Let's type in this bastard's name. And then we'll go back to it and finish it out. This wasn't going to be long at all. Oh, okay, yeah. Yeah, I was right there. Okay. <clears throat> you see a lot of wickedness come from Jason, but I'll start. Uh, I was right here. Second Maccabees 4 and 7. But after the death of Seleucus, when Antiochus called Epiphanes, took the kingdom, Jason, the brother of Onias, labored underhand to be high priest, promising unto the king intercession 300 talents of silver and of another revenue 80 talents. Besides this, he promised to sign 150 more if he might have license to set him up a place for exercise and for the training up of the youth in the fashions of the heathen and to write them of Jerusalem by the name of Antiochians. So you see here that it was our own Israel, uh, one of our own people who sold us to the manner and customs of the Greeks. This is a common theme that you see amongst our people. A wicked, disgruntled nigga, for whatever reason, he go runs to the enemy. And now we all suffer because of it. All right. Let's finish out now. This fuck like, nigga. Heck no. uh, um, if you so he only ain't got the balls to use a so-called rough word no more. He said, hell no. Nah, he said, heck no. You see that? You see the spirit that comes with this pseudo Christianism. You can't even be a man and, and talk no more. Heck no. I'm sorry, Mr. White Man. I won't, I won't curse on your platform again. Bitch-ass niggas. Meanwhile, this nigga will shoot you in the face uh, after robbing you and mugging you and calling you a motherfucker saying, fuck you on for them on dead homie, boss nigga. Right? He'll do you all like that, but he'll say, excuse me to vocab. Can't make this shit up, man. That's that Uncle Melvin spirit. <laughs> Like they got videos like four hours long, five hour long videos, and it'd be labeled 12 traps chart breakdown. But the majority of that is, is them just laughing, uh, talking. And he probably not lying. Them niggas do spend the whole time filibustering. That's why you're supposed to come up under the proper teachers. Bringing up other random things, it's not an efficient breakdown. In fact, my officer from Chicago, his name is Kaza Panya, right? Uh, mm -hmm. The brother told me to go pay for IUIC's 12 tribes chart breakdown, which is, I think, $75. Wait, how do you they buy IUIC's 12 tribes chart breakdown? Wow, so that's another whole rabbit hole in and of itself. So now IUIC, they selling the breakdown for 75 So they some niggas too, man. These niggas are selling breakdowns, selling prayers, selling names. Oh my lord, the destruction is gonna take the destruction is just gonna take motherfuckers off guard, y'all. They these people don't know what's coming, man. That's about it, y'all. I'm not gonna drag this on, but I wanted to address this. This Wendy Williams spirit, gossiping ass spirit, Yahweh Bashimi Awasha is gonna destroy these niggas, man. You supposed to uh matter of fact, the scriptures tell you when you have a alt with a brother or with somebody, you supposed to go to that person directly you don't go rip and run here it is you done told everybody in the world what the issue is except for the person you got the issue with go talk to them all right matthew 5 and 23 so you, you was supposed to say look y'all i don't think this is an efficient breakdown of genesis 49 you know can we do something we we need to get this figured out no he went and ran off bugged out ran the vocab so fuck the nigga and, and fuck sakari as a whole any damn way they the elect that's in there you know, hurry up and stop playing. God damn it. Matthew 5 and 23. Therefore, if thou bring thy gift to the altar and there rememberest that thy brother hath ought against thee, leave there thy gift before the altar and go thy way. Uh, go thy way. First be reconciled to thy brother and then come and offer thy gift right there. So when you have issues, hey, it tells you in Proverbs, debate thy cause with thy neighbor himself. Matter of fact, I'll get that actually. All right. But what do these niggas go run and do? They these niggas go run and destroy entire empires rather than to go address the issue with the person they have them damn self. You know, oh nice, uh, Jason, he wanted high priest office, which he wasn't gonna get it. But damn, you could have went to talk to oh nice about it. Damn, he could have set you up uh, right behind him. No, what'd you go do? Kill him? 
completely overthrow everything, sell out the whole nation. Niggas are fucking wigged out, man. Proverbs 25 and 17. No, 25 and uh, 9. Debate thy cause with thy neighbor himself and discover not a, discover not a secret to another. What? Least he that heareth it put thee to shame and thine infamy turn not away. And that's what happens. These dudes go run. These niggas who fall out and bug out, you go run and spill all your secrets. And ultimately, your, inf your infamy turns to shame. You don't get no cookies for this. Esau doesn't respect you niggas at the end of the day. He destroys you. There's a movie like that, too. I can't remember what it was. But the nigga, he was a double agent sellout the whole time and gets to the end of it. And the group he sell out to, you know, they're like, oh, okay. And? Right? You don't get no cookies? Matter of fact, y'all. I said that was going to be it. Salakia. They just come into my head now. Judas. Judas is carried being an example. He did all. He betrayed the Lord. And what happened ultimately? Matthew 27 and 3. Then Judas, which betrayed him, when he saw that he was condemned, repented himself and brought again the 30 pieces of silver to the chief priest and elder, saying, I have sinned in that I have betrayed innocent blood. And they said, <laughs> what is that to us? See thou to that. So he said, man, man, I fucked up. And they said, okay, man, nigga, that's ooh, what you want. And what do you go, what do you want to do? Verse five, and he cast down the pieces of silver in the temple and departed and went and hanged himself. And the chief priest took the silver pieces and said, it is not lawful for them to be put into the treasury because it is a price of, price of blood. All right. So, you know, they went and did, went and used that money elsewhere but you see they didn't they didn't they didn't succor judas meaning what comfort him he had to go die the death so there's no these people you idiots you don't read the scriptures you don't have any understanding you don't get any benefit from this run into the enemy you better off bugging out falling off and disappearing into obscurity so you're gonna have to catch uh double hands all right so i'm gonna give all praises to yahweh bahashim yahweh shai bahashim rakakodash the one to the elders and apostles, great millstone, peace, blessings, and salutations to all like the Akim, while Akwath, learning, teaching, and truth, and sincerity, Shalom.